and I'm so glad you joined us. Welcome, welcome. We want to thank you for inviting us into your home. We, are, we know we're your guests. And we thank you so much, and we pray you're going to spend the next hour with us because my favorite guest is here, Linda Gunter. We've been together I don't know how many years. Uh, it started, we'll talk a little bit about that in just a few moments, about how it started with the choir. And boy, they, their ministry, the Love Him, Love Them kids and the Love Him, Love Them organization is, my, what they're involved in, how God is blessing them. Listen, don't go anywhere. You're going to hear a whole lot more. Also tonight, I'm, listen, I couldn't have asked for a better evening. My favorite guest to the right, one of my, or my favorite singer, Lisa Pruitt, who sings on Pastor Benny Presents. You know her if you uh, tune into our program on Sundays and Mondays. You know that's Lisa. She's going to be singing tonight. So you're going to be blessed. Don't go anywhere. By the way, we're looking at our scripture. We're going to John chapter 15, verse 12, that says, This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Wonderful words of encouragement. By the way, we have prayer partners who are standing by. Here's your number, 864-244-1616. The numbers are not there for decoration. They're there for you to go to the phone, give us a call, and we'd love to pray with you. We'd love to encourage you. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, we want to share with you how you can become a Christian, how you can ask Him to come into your heart, okay? People are standing by, and uh, please go to your phone anytime over the next hour. Would you do that? We want to hear from you because we love you. And I'll tell you why, because Jesus first loved us, you know, because He loved us, we love Him, we love you. We want you to know that. Right now, uh, you're going to be blessed as uh, our own uh, Lisa Pruitt sings, Mary, did you know? Come on, Lisa. Bless you. Sir. Is 
You can, uh, you can see and catch uh, Lisa Pruitt every Sunday at 12 on Pastor Benny Presents, or you can catch her again on uh, Mondays at 5.30. And uh, Lisa, thank you. She's going to be with us for the rest of the evening. Now, what do I need to say about my next guest? I'm glad you're here. Yes, we're welcoming yes. you. I'm not going to say anything. I mean, it's I, a pleasure to, to be here. I mean, Benny. we've been doing this now for what eight years? Is that would I, that be fair to say? Something like that. Eight I, or I ten. Think I we, just turned 24, so uh, that it must you, have been when I was 11 that I it, first it came. It was because yeah. I was 15, yeah. and I mean, you know, <laughs> we were here with those precious children. Yes. And and you know, Linda is the uh, founder of Love Him, Love Them uh, organization, that great ministry, and um, and so. Tell me what you've been up to. Tell me yeah, how so, you are. Okay? Well, you realize today's Thursday, so yes. a week ago. Do you know what was going on a week ago? Y'all were having a great Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, thing. yes. How we, did it go? So we fed, uh, we used about 400 volunteers and great. served just shy of 4,000 meals isn't to homeless, great? hopeless, it, and homebound. Isn't that great? Uh, partnered with, I can't even tell you how many people, brand new volunteers that came this year. It was an amazing event. Uh, we had gotten a call just the day before of 11 families that had been displaced oh, uh, with gosh. kids. So unbelievable. And you know, it seemed to get colder earlier this year. I agree. So, uh, did, and um, anyways, one of the things that Love Him, Love Them does here in the States is specializes in taking people from being homeless to having a job and having yeah. a home because we found that uh, no matter if you're here or in the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, there's really two things you need. Right. You need Jesus and you need a job. Amen. You do. <laughs> so, you yeah, do. so you do. we have the kingdom of God has the ability to provide both. But anyways, Thanksgiving's over, Yeah. right? So right. I came to talk to you and your amazing viewers about some fabulous things that we have going on between now and the end of the year. And I'm hoping that some moms will come in and join me and either want to bring their kids or get away from their kids and come do some of the fun stuff. I think it's great. Before we go there, give us an update on, on Haiti because everybody is interested in that. Okay, so. And, and, and I know a lot of folks, when they knew that you were coming on the program, they want to know well, what's going on in Haiti. And uh, just give us a, yeah, a synopsis. Yeah, so the last there. time I was in Haiti was Easter Sunday. Uh, and by the time I had gotten off of the plane, the entire country knew I was there yeah. and I wasn't allowed to leave the airport. So mm. I ended up bringing uh, another child back, but I literally came off the departure and came right back onto arrivals. Yeah. So we're, we're into three years now with no president, uh, yeah. a, a real hot mess. We've been given some challenges, you know, that uh, have even challenged our prayer team. Yeah. <laughs> so we yeah. have an amazing prayer team, somewhat like yours of people who know how to pray and get right. what they pray for. You know, right. you used your verse tonight, John 15, 13. Uh -huh. If you go just two more verses down, it says, if, if you remain in me and my word uh, remains in yeah. you, uh -huh. you can ask anything. That's right. Unless it's Thursday. That's right. <laughs> no, it doesn't say that, does it? <laughs> and uh, no, I'll give it quite. to you. And so praise God that we have those type of people that are, yeah. you know, Benny, uh, there was one instance about four months ago, I got a call from uh, about our 17 girls that are up on the mountain in our Hope and Love Orphanage. Mm -hmm. And uh, they oh. were going, the gangs were literally going door to door, beheading the children, putting them on fire, burning down the houses. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, they said, Mommy Linda, what do you want to do? Because you're probably not going to be able to get a driver to go up there. Right. And if you you got to decide how you're going to move those girls or what you're going to do. And, and I was so distraught about it. And I did a Zoom call with our prayer partners all around the country. Mm -hmm. And they decided to pray for the girls to be invisible. Yeah. I, and that's God, He can do it. Yeah, and that's exactly what happened. So we it. moved them all. They're all still alive. We have them in hiding now. Mm -hmm. uh, and th these folks that were doing these terrible things are not Hamas connected. These are. No, you know, but isn't it interesting? Because I watch that. So you haven't seen anything about Haiti on the news. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we've been dealing with what Hamas is doing now. It's wow. all evil. Yes, you know, you say, absolutely. is it connected? Is it connected? Not geographically connected, but is it connected? Evil is evil. Evil is evil. And what is Satan's yeah. job? 
to destroy, Absolutely. kill us, and steal from us. Absolutely. And he's really good at it. Yeah. He's got, and he's yeah. got a lot of partners that work with him. So uh, in Haiti, it's the gangs that yeah. are working with him. Yeah. And in Israel and right there in the Gaza Strip, it's Hamas. Do you see resolution to these gangs? Like you said, well, three my, years of that. What, I mean, you know, you've got Do you want to know my solution? Yeah, I mean, My a great solution insight. is to get about 15 women who are in the middle of menopause, give them some AK-47s, and we could go over there. I think that, we, we would solve that in an <laughs> afternoon. Solve in about two hours, I think we could just take care of it. It would be done. It would be take done. Take care of it. But That's I mean, what, uh, what are we going to see? What's, I yeah. mean. Well, the, the, again, the evil and the corruptness uh, is there. You see the United States and Kenya and all different countries that are giving millions and millions of dollars to the government. Yes. And yet the government is not who uh, solves the problems. It's organizations like ours. Right. And, Absolutely. you know, many, many of those organizations have pulled out of Haiti. Uh, a couple of my really good friends are still there, but uh, we're few and far between. Yeah. And yeah. yet, nonprofits and ministries have the ability to do more, especially when you're in a third world country and right. especially when you're in a, a situation where there's so much corruptness. Right. Right. So the solution is to work through those organizations. I mean, we still have all six locations open. That's great. Our That's hospital great. is still serving. Our hospital is actually located in the middle of the headquarter of the largest gang in Haiti. So Amazing. we have been able to love him by loving them. Yeah, boy. And uh, only God knows. Selma Bondier Kone, only God knows yeah. how that's going to all end up. And, and yet, you know, uh, the admiration goes forth because y'all have not given up. Y'all have planted yourselves there. And whatever comes the way, you, you're going to defeat it. Yeah, I we've mean, kind of put ourselves in a situation where we can't give up, because, no. <laughs> which is probably good. Yeah. Because, you know, those 30 children that came here to the studio and sang, yes. uh, 22 of them had the opportunity to stay here in the United States. So yeah. we've got kids up and down the East Coast from Miami all the way to New York. That and the be, eight that went back, do you hear from them? Oh, every day. Good, good, <laughs> Mommy good, Linda, good, good. Get, well, they, it's get us out, get us I'm out. I'm sure. I'm sure they want yeah, to get, get us out. out so. And so many have been adopted that were uh, the kids. <laughs> kids in the choir and have and and we've got others that are here on uh, F1 student visas all right. our kids are here legally uh, yeah. they're either here on the TPS program temporary protective status or they're here on student visas and they're attending school uh, or they're working um, yeah that's a whole nother topic for another day if yeah. you want to talk about that border um, situation. I miss them <laughs> and, and many of our viewers I think you remember how precious how precious those children were when they first came the first time we were together yeah. I think and about that when I pull into the studio about how easy it is to come in in one vehicle and walk in the door by myself yeah. and <laughs> we were here before with that huge bus and 30 kids everywhere and interns everywhere. It, I mean, it, it's, it, a, it, it's but a whole yet, other world. You know, but how God used you, is using you, <sighs> and continues to use you. All right, now. Fast forward, what are we talking about between now and the end of the year here in the States? Okay, sounds good. So actually tomorrow night, if you are anywhere near Tacoa, Georgia, Love Him, Love Them has had the opportunity to be uh, involved in the Festival of Trees in Tacoa, Georgia. And every single person gets to vote with a buck. So from five o'clock to nine o'clock tomorrow night at 59 Doyle Street in okay. Thacker Hall, which I know you've got listeners all over Georgia. Because well, we have they, people in Tacoa, yeah, we do, yes we do. Me all the time. Yeah, so I do. want you to go because we get to keep all the money that goes in our bucket. And if we win, we get uh, $500. So our tree at the Festival of Trees Great. is decorated with all of our Christmas ornaments that are made out of trash mm -hmm. from beads in Haiti. So it's a beautiful tree. When you walk in the door, we're front and center. So if you are anywhere near there, or if you have a friend mm -hmm. in Tacoa, I want you to send them by. Or if you just or send me some money and I'll go over there and dump it in the bucket, right? Uh, just a, a really amazing opportunity that Tacoa gave us. Will some of us. the kids be, I would say, yeah, I'm, I mean, I know they've grown or growing. No, our, ki our kids are everywhere. Yeah. Our kids are everywhere. So I, Belinda just texted me. She's in North Carolina. She is a cheerleader God with bless Emanuel her. College. God and she's bless in her. Uh, <laughs> North Carolina cheering for the volleyball team. Radaka sings with great. the Emanuel Singers. Uh, she's in, we have five in college five in college. I, I can't, I can't fathom that. Yeah, it's a, it's a trip trying uh, to keep up with everybody. So, but anyway, so the Festival of Trees, I would love for you to go to that. And then we have, mm, have you mm. ever, I know you probably haven't done it, but lots of girls go to a sip and paints. So love him, wait, love wait, wait, them. Wait, 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 slow that down for me. To what? Sip and paint. You sip and you paint. So we're doing a sip and paint with no sip. 
<laughs> and Starbucks of Tacoa again is uh, providing the coffee for Are that. They? It's great. 211 Main Street Bakery, That's which great. is a Mennonite owned restaurant in Livonia, Georgia. If you've that ever been to Livonia, I know you've eaten at 211 Main Street. Mm. They're providing all of the snacks and the coffee, I mean the mm. snacks and the desserts, which are to die for. Mm. And you can make any donation that you want and you get to make an amazing door hanger for that's Christmas. Great. Now great. some of the girls will be there for that. Yeah. Uh, and that's gonna be held on December the 14th. Okay. So a really fun night to get together. Uh, you can get away from your kids, moms, just saying. Whoa. So now we've got <laughs> December 1st, tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, and uh, December 1st, and then December 14th, we've got those two big things, and all these are fundraisers for- Yeah, absolutely. It's great. It's yeah, great. so, and then uh, December 13th and okay. 14th, right. in the morning time, we have our annual event where we go and decorate Christmas cookies mm -hmm. with special needs adults. It's great. And we share the Christmas story. Yeah. That has nothing to do with money. It just has yeah. an amazing opportunity to go and really love mm -hmm them yeah, yeah. and uh, that's how we love him right so yeah. you can make cookies for that you can donate uh sprinkles or icing or what i highly recommend is that you come to one of those events so one of those yeah. is, is december the 13th is in livonia uh -huh. you can call me you'll see my number yep. uh and then december the 14th is in hartwell georgia so uh both right of those there events. at the lake i mean right there at the lake right and exactly and now uh and so now david he is he's busy David just got back from Wisconsin. Okay. So our personal home burned to the ground right. <laughs> on May the 6th this uh, year on sure. the lake. Uh, lots of people filmed that and sent us to us. So I'm sure a lot of your viewers knew about that. Mm. Uh, so that's one of the things that he's working on in addition to our job. We're in a uh, temporary housing right now right. and uh, working through that. But we lost every material possession we had. Mm. So yeah, David's really focused on trying to get his yeah. family back into a, a home. Oh, I, I know. And how many of the kids are still with y'all? We have uh, 12 kids all together. Five are still at home. Okay. And of course, my my mom lives with us now. Our right, 80, eighty six right. year old mom. Good night. So yeah, I'm so, sure she's watching. Uh, uh, hi, mom. <laughs> I know she is your daughter's baby. And so you can expand the house, though, can't you? I mean, you can build on the, uh, a roof. Oh yeah, who knows? I don't know. David's handling that. Uh, yeah, let we'll, him do that. We'll I let mean, him take care I mean, of that. That's uh, his. That's his baby, anyways. And and uh, before we go to another song, David's still flying. Oh yeah, good, Dave, good, yeah. good. I mean, Just, well, he didn't fly himself from Wisconsin, but yeah, he yeah. Uh, did fly on a plane. I haven't even seen him yet. He he came in the door when I was going out, or picked up a kid, or something. I, I mean, in that you know how life is. We yeah. come and we go. One's coming, one's yeah. going. Sometime we meet in the night. That's and right. We don't. Yeah, know. I'm gonna wake him up when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking with Linda Gunter tonight from the Love Him Love Them organization. And uh, no, the kids aren't here. Uh, maybe one day we'll have an opportunity. Oh, a uh, reunion, that would be fun. That huh? would be a lot of fun, it really would. But uh, you're praying for the ministry and praying for the people of Haiti. But right now, Lisa Pruitt, have yourself a merry little Christmas. Come on, Lisa, bless our hearts, would you please? yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your heart be light. From now on, our troubles will be out of sight. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay. From now on, our troubles will be miles away. Here we are, as in olden days, happy golden days of yore. Faithful friends who are dear to us, gather near to us once more. 
the years we all will be together if the Lord allows hang a shining star upon the highest bound and have yourself Merry Christmas. God bless you. I'm telling you, if you want to hear Lisa sing, you can every Sunday at 12 noon or every Monday at 5.30 on Pastor Benny Presents right here on WGGS Television or might be a different place, a different uh, station wherever you view the telecast. I'm talking to my favorite guest, yeah, Linda Gunter, uh, who when I met this dear lady, she came in here with almost 30 <laughs> children from Haiti and I tried to speak to every one of them. All they knew was just to love on me, and I loved them back. Henceforth, she has a great ministry. Love him, love them, and it is a fabulous ministry. I want you to tell me a little bit about this uh, uh, night of hope. We're going to go to Aroli in just a second, but tell, tell us our okay. viewers about that. So the whole reason that I uh, first went to Haiti was because my very best friend was Haitian, mm -hmm. and she was murdered. And so uh, her husband actually murdered her and her mother, and she left behind five children. And so those five children obviously had one parent who was incarcerated, right? In five minutes, they lost their mom, their, their dad, and their grandmother. That whole story is in our first book, Peanut yes. Butter Crackers and Flip Flops. But anyway, so I know what it's like to raise children- Yes, you do. Who have a parent incarcerated. Yes, you do. And so I decided, you know, a lot of people who have people in jail, uh, Christmas time is not what it is for us, yeah. right? They don't have a thousand parties to go to. They don't have different things. So about 10 years ago, I said, you know what? We're going to do a big event for kids who mm -hmm. have a parent incarcerated. And at that point, I was doing jail ministry, loved going to the jail. And I just started asking the people in jail. I was like, hey, what do you want to get your kids for Christmas? And from there, it turned into last year, we had probably 500 people there. I think I told you last year, the Real Housewives of Atlanta used yep. our our, chari our event as their charity event. I, I think it's uh, great. I had a bunch of NFL football players there um, signing footballs. And so, so the idea is we bring in kids whose parents are incarcerated, mm -hmm. and we also bring in the Guardian families. And so uh, we bring and we give them gifts. So that's one way you can participate is you can take an angel, which ends up being the, the child. And kind of the coolest thing I think, Benny, uh -huh. is that, you know, most of the time when you pull an angel off of a tree, you go get the gifts, you send them in, you put them into the organization or whatever, and that's it. But for our event, you can come and actually give the gifts to the child. Isn't that you great? can sit at the table, you can sit with the guardian family, you can find out other ways that we can be involved in help. And then at the end of the night, I stand up and I say to the Guardian families, what do you need to change the trajectory of this kid's life? Yeah. What do you need as a family? And you know, when we took in five kids, we needed marriage counseling. <laughs> I can we only imagine. You know, and some people need marriage counseling. Some people need, we've given away homes. We've given away cars. We've given away um, washing machines. Yep. Uh, all sorts of different things that the kingdom of God has. Mm. The kingdom of God has what these people need. Let me it's, ask you, would it help if we bring the roll in now? Yeah, maybe uh, we can, can see can what we do that? Are we ready? Are we queued up for that? And uh, let's pull that in and we'll continue talking about this. I think this is from last this. year's event. Okay, yeah. watch this. This is the night of hope. Watch this. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Are you past the point of weary? Is your burden weighing heavy? Is it all too much to carry? Let me tell you about my Jesus. Do you feel that empty feeling? Cause shame's done all it's stealing. And you're desperate for some healing. Let me tell you about my Jesus. He makes a way where there ain't no way. And let 
listen to me. Some of you are sitting at home. We're coming to the end of the year, and uh, you're trying to see where to invest some of your funds. When you decide, love him, love them is on, on my list, why not make a great investment, a grand investment? There is the address up there. If you need inf more information, 5013C, of course, but where, where else could you get such a return on your money than investing in a ministry like this? Somebody's watching tonight, and you've been trying to decide where to invest that last little bit of money. Right here, okay? Right here. Night of Hope. So mm -hmm. what we were seeing there, those were the kids. Yeah, that was from last year. Okay, last year. And their, their, kid, their, uh, their parents are most likely in jail. We're incarcerated, yeah. And so, you know, and then we spend the rest of the year uh, supplying whatever needs the guardian family that has requested. Yeah. Uh, we, we work through that th the entire year. But probably one of the most uh, amazing parts of that, we had probably over 400 volunteers at that particular mm -hmm. event. Yeah. But one of the most amazing parts of the Night of Hope are the conversations that I get to have with the families leading up to it. Can't you know, one, of, one actually one of the requests that we've had is for a 23 year old who needs a service dog. Uh -huh. um, and that's always a very fun gift to give away. We have Michael Ledbetter that shows up and gives away bunny rabbits oh with the cages and yeah. the events. And it's, it's just, uh, because when I, when I talk with these people, I say, the reason I, because they're always like, who are you? What are you yeah. doing? And I yeah. was like, the reason I do this right. is I raised five children right. who had a parent incarcerated. And I know what it's like this time of year. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing this party for you is I want you to take just a couple of hours yeah. to go and have a good time. Sure, sure. And to not think about a thing. And as you can see from yeah. that video, yeah. those kids who would normally be like, man, you know, I'm not with my mom, I'm not with my right. dad. You see them jumping up and down. Sure. It's a party atmosphere. And you know, sure. the other thing is too, Benny, a lot of right. us, that are involved in church or involved in ministries, this is the busiest time of year for yes. us. We got so much going on, we can barely fit it all in. Right. But people who are dealing with people in jail, mm. it's not the case. Mm -mm. They don't mm -mm. have a party to go to. No. So when I get to call and say, hey, I'm having a party, I want you to come, we're gonna have dinner, we're gonna have gifts, we're gonna have a live nativity scene, right. we're just gonna have a big time. There's gonna be NFL football players there. We'll si sign in footballs for your sons, especially like the 15, yeah. 16, 17 year old boys. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and you know, when I see that, you know, so many uh, of our listeners, and I can tell you, uh, or want to identify with that, but can't because they've never experienced that. I mean, and, and maybe in their lives or their family's lives, and maybe they don't even have friends, maybe a distant friend, right. but they don't really know what it's like. Yeah, I it's mean, empty. I mean, it's I, a hole. Right. See, I, I mean, I can sit here and, and watch this and hear you, but I've, I've, I've not walked in the shoes. Right. So and, I, the story, yeah. and the stories are... Unbelievable. Uh, I, I mean, one of the stories that I got yesterday was from a lady who her daughter is in jail because her her daughter her granddaughter died, and they are accusing the the the, the daughter of rolling over and killing the the, the baby. I mean, the, the stories are magnanimous. They're they're unbelievable. Mm. And I think even one of the saddest parts is when we have return people. Yeah. So like, for, we'll have some people that from last year that are still in jail. Uh, and we, the reason we do jail is because a lot of people serve people who are in prison. Yeah. But most ministries don't want to deal with who's in jail because right. you're not in jail right now, but you might be in jail at Christmas. Sure, sure. <laughs> I'm I, not in jail right, right now. And so it's, it's a real haphazard thing that kind of comes up with right. who's, who's it, you have to be real flexible. And that's one of the things that working in Haiti has taught us. And, we're very flexible. And, right? and you know, something like that, how many people are involved in a ministry oh. like and do, getting something to accomplish like what we just saw? Oh, now, wow. How many, so, uh, how many so churches, so we have WMU groups that, that so to pick an angel. So every time I talk to uh, a family, I say, what do you want to get the child? We've already asked the inmate, but let me, let me go back real quick do it. to do the it. full circle of the Night of Hope. We have the chaplains from the jail that are at the event and they film the children receiving their gifts. Oh my. Yep. Oh my. And they go back to jail and say, hey, you remember a few weeks ago when that crazy white lady was in here asking you what you wanted to get your kid for Christmas? Well, looky here. Yeah. And they show them the videos. 
And all of a oh, sudden, my. you see hardened criminals that yeah. normally wouldn't want to have a conversation about anything yeah. who are primed up yeah. oh, for you to give them some hope, my. touch their lives, my. and change their trajectory of their lives. So anyways, as far as how many people, mm. tons of people. So I work with the chaplains on the front end. There's probably over 400 people sure. that will be involved in this. Great. Whether you're greeting at the door, whether you've chosen an angel and you've provided the gift, whether you're there serving the meal, whether you're the key volunteer that sits at the table, because right. here's, here's another big key. For us to get the truth of what that family needs to help those kids, uh -huh. they got to know you're their friend. Right. I don't know. Do you remember back in the day when we used to do BWR, Building Witnessing Relationships yes, and yes, CWT? Yes, I do. I yeah, remember so that. So that's what our key volunteers have to do that night. When they sit at the table, they've mm -hmm. got to become their friend because otherwise the only other people that are asking them questions are defects workers, the sheriff, right. et cetera. And you're not gonna find out that somebody's living in a storage unit right. with three kids right. if they think you're not there to really help them. Right. So we, we really get to the nitty gritty so that we can mm. really change their lives. Mm -hmm. And you know, when I think, is it not amazing how life has segued for you? Because <laughs> back in 2010 or 11, uh, or that first trip to Haiti that you took, and uh, here we are some 13 years later, not only continuing to love and nourish these precious folks of Haiti, but look how God has expanded the ministry. And it is not just, um, I mean, it's international, of course it is, but uh, look at the national part of it. Yeah. and to see what's going on in Livonia, Georgia, and Toccoa, Georgia. I right. mean... Yeah. Well, and, and you know, some, some people are like, we want to help in America. Some people are like, we only want to help in Haiti. Right. So we, ha we have it right. all. You know, the other thing for Christmas is in Haiti, we, we are responsible for all of the Samaritan's Purse boxes that go out, right? right. Last okay. year we did over 35,000 deliveries of the Samaritan's Purse boxes. Yeah. But those Samaritan's Purse boxes don't cover everyone in Haiti. Yeah. <laughs> so we supplement that with Christmas joy bags. Right. So you can go on our website and find out. It's literally just a gallon bag. And you can fill it out for a little girl, little boy, big girl, big boy. And we can right. actually take those to Haiti also. That's right. how we provide. We have over 5,000 children in Haiti. Right. And that's how we provide Christmas for them. But the, but locally, Straight. we really, really, there's a lot of people that just want to be involved right here in their backyard. Right. Right. And right. so, and we've had, you know, the other pretty cool thing, uh, Benny, is that we've had a lot of people that have mimicked what we do. I've, They've yeah. heard about what we do. I have a friend in Dallas, Texas. She's like, Linda, I can do that here. Sure. I want to do that here. I think it's great. I've got a friend that um, has the Christian View television show that's at your sister station in Atlanta, and she's like, I want to do that same thing for children who are in re in par uh, whose parents are in rehab. Right. And so I love when the 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 kingdom of God comes together and we oh. work together to serve those that God wants us to serve. And you know, and, and to think that you our listener can be part of Absolutely. this. Absolutely. We're talking about, uh, you know, not just the people who live in Livonia or Hartwell oh, no. or Tacoa. I mean, we, we're talking to people up there in Black Mountain, North Carolina right now. Yeah, we've actually okay. had people come down from New York. Well, we've had, a matter of fact, the, the, the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they said that they, there wasn't an event like that in Atlanta. That's the reason they came all the way up to Northeast Georgia. Isn't that great? So you can, you can make that something. You know, and a lot of times people put more into it when they travel further. Right. right? They it do. It turns yes. it into a little mission event. Yes, it does. So you can come that night or you can actually uh, pick an angel off the tree and just provide the gifts. And what's Either the way. date of that again? December the 21st. December so 21. all of the things that we've talked about tonight are leading up to that, right? right? Tomorrow night's the Festival of Trees. All of right. the money from that will go towards that event. Right. Uh, December the 14th is the sip and paint with no sip. Right. Uh, that all of the proceeds from that will right. go to that. So that December the 14th is one week prior to. And December 13th. And December 13th right. and 14th are for the special needs adults. That That is a, an event. Moms, listen to me. Mm -hmm. If you are not already doing something, you, know, you can do that in your own town. Uh, just offer to go and decorate cookies with somebody that everybody forgets about. Yep. Um, but I, I would love for you to come alongside of us or maybe come and watch what we do this year and then you repeat it mm. in, in the area where you live. Mm. And you know, you, again, I, I keep repeating this, you can be part of this. You may say, well, 
you know, my health doesn't allow me to even leave my home. Well, make some cookies. <laughs> you can make, that's what I was going to say, you can make cookies. Yeah. Uh, you, can, you can send a gift. You can call that number if you want to. We'll have it up there from time to time. You see the information that is there. You can do something. Listen, maybe that's why. Maybe you're sitting home and you're in your 80s or 90s and you're saying, I'm all alone now. No, you're not. You know the Lord's there. Look what you can do. The investment you can make with your time. Okay, you're a widow. You don't have much money. We're not talking about that. We're talking about making cookies. Come yes. on. I mean, yeah. they Benny, we had, for our Thanksgiving event, we had volunteers from age one mm -hmm. to 82. That's great. And literally working beside each other. I Couples that were there that have been married great. for 58 years, stuffing cookies. And Zadie the Cookie Lady, who, whose husband just passed away, was responsible for over 800 of our 6,000 cookies my, that, my, that we make. Yeah. My. So, yeah, we, that, that's one of the reasons Love Him, Love Them exists, sure. is to provide opportunities mm. for you mm, to love mm, Him mm. by loving them. And, you know, we're talking to somebody tonight. Yeah, we are. And it might be that we're talking to you. And uh, you, you need to do something like that. You do. And I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm tell I've known this dear lady. I know her ministry. Uh, I know what she does. I've had her in my church. I've had her organization in my church two times now. One in, uh, when, when I hadn't retired now, I am retired. They've been in my church. I've had one of her, one of those precious young ladies spend the weekend with me. I, I love them dearly. I'm telling you, you can't find a finer place to invest your money. Right now, we're going to be back with uh, Linda Gunter in just a moment. Right now, you're going to love this as Lisa Pruitt sings the Silent Night Medley. Come on, Lisa. Bless our hearts.
I'm telling you right now, Lisa, uh, you blessed our hearts, but you can, you can hear and you can see Lisa every Sunday and every Monday when Pastor Benny presents. Hey, many of you have been calling in tonight. Please do. We've got that number right here. We'll pray for you at, toward the end of the program collectively, but tomorrow we'll uh, seek to pray for you individually. Call that number. You see it right here, okay? Give them a call if you would. I've been talking to Linda Gunter. Love him, love them. Uh, Oh, what a great minister. I, I got to know now, uh, as we get ready to, you get back to Livonia tonight. You got, you go into the office tomorrow or what are you? Yeah, what? but you know, I'm not in Livonia anymore because my house burned down. That's, so where are you? <laughs> so, so we're living commerce now. Okay. Uh, we couldn't find a house big enough. We still, with all the kids and mom, so we, uh, we had a gift given to us in Commerce, Georgia. That's so good. it's another 45 minutes down the road. But anyways, yes, I will be at the office tomorrow. Actually, we're filming our television show tomorrow. We have two television shows right, now. Right. Uh, Linda with Love Him, Love Them and Miracles with Mommy Linda. That's and so right. we've got lots That's of right. guests coming in tomorrow. Who right. And all of our shows uh, with our guests right. are people whose, whose lives have been changed through our ministry, it, either right. who have gone to Haiti or who have uh, volunteered and, and come alongside of us for one of our events. You know. Uh, Benny, another really cool oh. part of the Night of Hope is to see somebody that comes, let's say someone comes last year because their their husband, their spouse, uh -huh. their whoever's incarcerated, and then this year they show up as a volunteer. Isn't right? it great? Doesn't that yeah. bless your heart? Yes, it I blesses mean, my heart. It's amazing to see how God can work, right? And in a year's time, wow, God can change our lives, right? He can reorder it, change it, turn it upside down, any way, shape, form, fashion he wants. Yeah, he's if you just, just looking say, for believing believers. Yeah, and, and, and let's remember this, that the Night of Hope last year, I think you told me you had 27 salvations. 27 salvations. That's what it's all yeah. about, folks. Yeah. I mean, so yeah. when you're, and we, we actually split them up. We learned this, I guess it was last year was the first time we did this, but we learned that, you know, you present the gospel to adults who are helping kids a little bit different than you than you yeah. deliver it to kids. So yeah. we, we split yeah. that up last year. And you know, that's another thing. Everybody leaves with a Bible. Everybody leaves with pet food. Everybody leaves with really whatever they need. We, we, yeah. we have very deep conversations with them before, during, and after. Sure. And our goal is not to just have that one party that night, right. uh, but to actually give them hope, change their lives, and touch their hearts. And see, you can be part of that, folks. You're listening to that. You can be a part of that, uh, even though maybe you can't go there. Maybe you just can't. But you can send your gift of love. You can 
all for encouragement. You can call that number that uh, is their, their headquarter number there in Georgia and, and just let them know. I mean, you got a snail mail address. Many of you don't have internet, understand that. Many of you don't have computer, we understand that. But you do have pen and pencil. You do have letter and stationery, and you can write Love Him, Love Them, P.O. Box 505, Livonia, Georgia, 30553. Go and pick up that pencil or pen. Forget the computer. Don't worry about it. They'll respond. Yeah, and you've got some of the greatest guests that actually do. Usually when I'm on my way home, I get tons of phone calls. Yeah. So, uh, and you know, the other thing that your guests are so good at is our books. Yeah. We have, uh, I mean, your guests are so good. We came here when we uh, launched our Miracles with Mommy Linda book. And now, within the next two yeah. weeks, we actually have a devotional that's coming out that will accompany that book. Look at that. I love it. Um, yeah. Great hairstyle. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, wow. There's the <laughs> devotional. Yeah. So that, uh, that is actually coming out. You can actually order that for pre-sale now for a donation of any amount. That's right. And it will be autographed and sent to you. Great. And you'll have it before Christmas. Right. So that's 52 weeks of literally walking you through how to build your faith for miracles. And you know, don't forget this, that you can also buy some of that beautiful jewelry. jewelry. You can get the ornaments for the trees that yeah. were made, yes, out of trash. Yeah, Isn't okay. That gorgeous? Look at that. So now pretty. look at that. Yeah, no and two gonna, are alike. No, and you, you're going to tell me that God hadn't been an anointing power in all of this? Look at that. How <laughs> beautiful. It, was it last year or two or three, four years yeah, ago we, we were here? Tree. We had a tree here, remember? <laughs> I think I we had it over a few and, times. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, and yet I remember the very first time you told me this was made out of trash. And I said, come on, get out of here. But yeah. I, I mean, just, it's well, amazing. your receptionist just gave me a bunch of trash, <laughs> which cracks me up. <laughs> Normally we have, we have plenty of trash in Haiti, but when people find that out, they start saving their Diet Coke things. And, and uh, she just gave me three bags of, uh, to, we'll put on our container. I was like, we're probably the only people in the world that ship trash and, to Haiti. And, and also, don't forget this, we've got people out there like uh, Elaine Laster who made so many of those blankets. Oh, blankets. oh yeah. yeah. You, you remember oh, Allison Benny. made a beautiful blanket for us. Benny, and those several. babies. Oh my. Oh my gosh, those babies. When they send me the mm -hmm. pictures of those mm -hmm. babies mm -hmm. born in the hospital mm -hmm. and they're wrapped up in those blankets that I know, especially with Allison, you yep. know every single stitch yep. she knitted. Is that, yep. if that's the way you say it? Yeah. She prayed over Oh, her. you know, and, and so many of them did. And, and the joy they had, or they hadn't been to Haiti, but they have been to Haiti exactly. because of what they sent. You know, that's did. the same way with <laughs> yeah. our, the shoes. You know, we yep. send 2,500 pairs of shoes to Haiti every month. That's yep. Uh, so that our kids can go to school. And it's also so women don't have to be in sex trafficking. We put them right. in business. But a church I was at recently mm -hmm. speaking said, you know, you might not be able to go to Haiti, but your shoes sure can, can walk all I over th the country. I and I was it, like, oh my I gosh, think it's I great. never thought about it that I way. Think it, I, you know, and, the th and you can do that too. Yeah, easy see? peasy. Come on. I mean, it, it is. We've been talking tonight to Linda Gunter, the love him, love them, children's ministry that has expanded and it continues and it does so because it's a God thing you see God's got his hand on you know what all I was just you. thinking Dina Grant who I know is watching and she first heard about us on this show God bless and you. she literally just drove all the way from Seneca South Carolina to our office in Royston today to yeah. drop off shoes and she also told me to make sure I told you say she said you tell Benny I said hello well, hello dear <laughs> thank, thank she's you she's from Corinth Church in oh Seneca oh my. and they found out about us here uh, on your show and isn't it great that the, the power of the gospel yes. from channel 16 how it <laughs> permeates the airwaves and changes lives it it began changing lives. We're still changing lives through, of course, the power of the Holy Spirit by God Almighty Himself. And tomorrow, we'll st He'll still be changing lives. Many of you have called in tonight. We want you to know we're praying for you. Amy, you need prayer. We're praying for you, uh, for this individual that, uh, bless your heart, uh, dog bite. Uh, that's no fun this time of the year. Someone calling you. There's somebody in the family that needs salvation. There's someone that has had surgery, a back surgery, and you need healing from that. Uh, you have someone that uh, you're having a tough time with, a dispute, and you need God to solve the issue. On and on, there's so many. You know, Linda, as we go to the Lord in prayer, we just got a couple minutes before we, uh, we come to the end of the program. But I'm going to ask you if you'll join with me. Hold, and if you'll offer a brief prayer, please. Father, please. in the name of Jesus, these people that are actually reaching out to you, Lord, you've told us yeah. in John 15 that if we remain in you and your word remains in us, we can ask you anything right. and you will bring 
bring it to us. Psalm 103 tells us we can send forth healing. Mm -hmm. And so Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. for every one of these people, whether it's their heart, their mind, their soul, or if they just need strength, please, please, I'm Lord. asking you, Father, to answer these please. prayers. Yes, Lord, please. In please. Jesus' name I pray. Oh, pray, pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Now we prayed for you and uh, two or more gathered in his name, you know. We prayed for you and I don't know what uh, all the difficulty you may be going through. We, we don't know, okay? But he does. Yes. That he does. Why? I don't know. I, you know, I, I, we don't know. But there's something called trust. There's something called faith. There's something called belief. And you see, when you put those three together, that's a, a, a dynamo in itself. And so regardless of who you are, where you are, what you're facing, God, His Word says, I am the God that healeth thee. That's right. Okay? Don't ever, ever forget. doesn't matter what you're going through. doesn't matter. doesn't matter how bad, how profound. I don't care what the doctor said. If you came home today, you were sitting in that little green room uh, over there off the big hallway, and the doctor came in, and the nurse came in, and they told you that terrible... Uh, the terrible news. Hey, let me tell you something. There is a God in heaven who said, I am the God that can heal you. Yes. So hold on to that. Thanks for coming our way again. Well, you're always a joy. I mean, and to hear what's going on, how we started, I'm, I mean, I get so excited because when I think back from that very first time, we're here, you know, and all these kids, you drove the bus, I think, up here that night. Yep. And uh, you needed bus driver. I remember we needed bus drivers and all that. And the kids were just so excited. I've tried to, you know, we tried to herd them and love them. And <laughs> I didn't speak a word of French. I mean, I you know, that, but they loved you so oh much. Oh my! And you know, and I and, and I, you buying ice cream for them didn't hurt matters. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> I just wanted to do for them. And and you know, there's something about children. You know that, and I know that. Uh, one, there's a segment on my program. Occasionally, we'll bring in a baby uh, girl that sings with us. And I'm telling you what, when people see me the next two, three, four weeks, they don't say a thing about the singing. <laughs> they don't say a thing about the. When are you going to have that baby back? Right. They all, that's just something about children. Right. Well, and didn't Jesus say, come to me sure just the same way the little children yes, did? Yes, he that's did. That's the belief and the faith and the trust yeah. that you're talking about. Yeah. That yeah. same one when the kids jump into the water and yeah. they, they trust you. Yeah. If we have that, I really believe that's what our Father is looking uh, for. Ab right? Absolutely. He never told, you, he never told uh, those little ones to, to grow like up and act like us, but he did tell us to understand them. Thank you so much for inviting us into your home tonight. We want to thank you. We, we, uh, we don't take that lightly. We, we really don't. And uh, so from all of us here at WGGS Television, from our, the folks who've been flooring tonight, of course, uh, Olivia's done a great job. Titus has been my cameraman. Over there, David's been uh, um, um, Linda's cameraman and the folks on the other side of the wall how we love them and how we love you and how we love your ministry. Thank you for letting us be part of it because by being able to share with it, uh, we can be part of it, okay? Right. So from all of us here at WGGS, from Love Him, Love Them, I'm Pastor Benny. I'll see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.